place to pray. If I were that overcomer who was giving you the lessons, I will add one more. Learn from scars and learn from crowns. If you learn from victorious people alone, you did not learn well. There is something only pain can teach. There is something only failure can teach. Please, I want you to listen to me. I give you this as a bonus principle. And then we pray. We live in a world today that downplays those who have failed and focuses on those who have succeeded. The person who has failed knows something that the successful person may never know. Believe me. There is something that a woman who had three children immediately after nine months, there's something she can teach you. But there is something only the woman who knows the pain of barrenness can teach you. You must learn to learn from people who have failed and have remained, not just those who have succeeded. The person who has failed and refused to give up is as powerful a teacher as the person who has succeeded is someone learning now if I were that overcomer in this teaching and I had the privilege to teach you I will add number nine and that would be learn from scars as well as crowns I know you are a man of God and you have experienced miracles and explosion spreading your branches all over there is something you can teach us but i also want to hear from the man who has only pastored 10 members for 10 years and has not given up there is a kind of wisdom only that man can bring are we together yes i want to learn from the woman who gave birth immediately and the one who waited 20 years both of them have something to tell me I want to learn from the man who never had an opportunity to be educated but he was able to raise three or four children not just the CEO who became a billionaire at 19 both of them have something to tell me can I tell you do not fall prey to the mistake that many have made do not just respect successful people alone respect those who have failed and are still standing when a man fails and refuse to give up there is something he has and he can tell you is someone learning the one who is very wealthy can teach you financial principles but the one who has little can teach you joy and gratitude in the midst of little you need to learn from both of them the wealthy man may not be able to sleep if he loses one billion but the person who has stayed having little and knows how to sleep can teach you how to find rest when things do not work. Most believers ignore people who have scars alone without a crown, not knowing that the road to the throne is the cross. When we get to heaven, I have taught you, among the many ways we know Jesus, is not just the crown on his head. He's not the only one with a crown. The 24 elders have crowns. The saints will be given crowns, but there is only one who has a kind of scar that no one can replicate. That scar is what brands him as savior. Not everybody can show you their crown, but if they can show you their scar, respect them. The man does not have a car, but he has trekked with his children from primary school until they are now in university. Let him teach you how to be joyful without things. There is something he can teach you. I learn from everyone. The Bible says go to the ants and learn. They have something to teach you. When I meet a man who has failed and is crying, I tell him what can you teach me? When I meet a man who has succeeded exceptionally, I tell him what, what can you teach me? I do not learn only from victors. I learn from those who are testaments of endurance. They have failed they can teach you how not to fail you are the one that we praise you are the
the one we adore. You give the healing and grace that our hearts always hunger for. Oh, our hearts always hunger for. It is not only elderly people that can teach. Children can also teach. Elderly people can never become children again. But children have a chance to become elderly people. Respect them. They have the advantage of time. Elderly people can have wisdom. But there is no time to correct certain mistakes again. But children have the advantage of time. They can be Saul today. And become Paul tomorrow. Respect it. I've visited the prison many times and we have various projects to the prison and I am inspired sometimes beyond imagination as I see these inmates. Some of them have come to a point where they have admitted their wrongs. Do you know there was a time that we wanted to help out to bail a few people who had been there for a long time and the, the controllers advised us that they have learned from experience that some of these people have no family. They are better off there. Even if you bail them, they will not go because it has become their family. They are better off in that place. So when you sit down with that person and you ask him, what do you have to teach me? He will tell you, listen to instructions. I was teaching, I'm wrapping up now. I was teaching at a youth session my final session in South Africa this year and I just decided to inspire some of the people the youths within the nation there as a final session and I just want to borrow an example as I wrap up and I told them I was going to simulate a discussion between an elderly you and a younger you if the 10 year old you meets with the 50 year old you and they discuss what will be their discussion will it be well done you are what i always wanted to be or something is wrong i wish i could go back i have told you that at the end of your life you will always be remembered only be remembered by the problems you created or the ones you solved there are many of you who right now are in that conversation. If the 10 year younger version of you looks at the you now, you will watch him bleed. And he says, this is not what I wanted to become. This was not our discussion. What happened? Now that you are alive, you can make the you now to celebrate with the you that is waiting in your 20 years from now. That 10, 20 years from now, you can look back to this version of you and say well done I made the wrongs right I built the relationships I got my life back in order I'm praying for you that the 70 80 year old version of you will not turn back and watch the younger version crying and say I kept calling your attention when you were 30 I said you were missing it you did not listen you got to 40 I said you were missing it you did not listen now you are 80 and you are full of regrets there are many elderly people today who are going to their graves in pain they made certain mistakes and watch this this is the conclusion of my discourse tonight the man who is sitting today as an overcomer is not always smiling sometimes they cry even on the throne because they remember in regret opportunities missed some of these principles that they did not adhere to I was sent by that overcomer to you to tell you the mistake you are making has been made by someone and the end of it is not joy. You have a chance to correct it now. The lack of wisdom that you are doing now, someone has done it for you already. He finally became an overcomer. But there are things the man called Abraham even though he was a patriarch of faith don't forget Ishmael came and Ishmael fought Isaac he still fights Isaac till today and so the lesson from the overcomer called Abraham is that impatience will always make you give birth to what fights your promise 
Make sure you don't just say, I am a seed of Abraham. Learn from the pain of the patriarch. If you were to meet with David today, David will tell you that I was a great man after my God's heart, but there were mistakes I made with my life. Do not make that mistake. How about Solomon the wise? You will see him seated today. And if you were to see Solomon, he will tell you, read the book of Ecclesiastes for the next one month and you will cry while he's saying it. Read the book of Ecclesiastes and give it to every successful person to read. That of writing many books, there is no end. And much study is a weariness to the body. But this is the conclusion of the matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, he said, for this is the whole duty of man. If you were to meet the man, Paul, seated as an overcomer, he will say, I have a message for you. Know God early. Know God early. It will save you a lot of problems. Know God early. If you were to meet Esau and meet Jacob, they would tell you, do not sell your destiny for a pottage of stew. It is not worth it. Do not sell your birthright because you are hungry. Endure. Your birthright is greater than your hunger today. And then, if you sit and watch the greatest overcomer of all times, he's called the king of kings. He seated himself upon that throne. Let me tell you what he will tell you. Come unto me, all ye that are heavy laden and are weary. And he will tell you, I can give you rest. Rest from yesterday. Rest from pain. Rest from misery. Rest from curses. I can give you rest. He says, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. You shall find rest indeed for your soul. Take my yoke upon you. If you meet the overcomer, he will tell you, no matter how your sins are, I paid that price for you as proof of love you may not be able to do anything about yesterday but you can start afresh today and make meaning with your today for a great tomorrow we are surrounded by overcomers they are called a great cloud of witnesses i've been assigned by the spirit to glean from their wisdom and to share with you tonight irrefutable destiny defining principles that have turned ordinary men to become champions hoping that soon enough in your lifetime you will have a chance to sit upon this rare throne that not many sit on as an overcomer yourself that your name will be turned from joshua selman to an overcomer from mary from grace to an overcomer that people will look at you and indeed you will be called an overcomer Please rise up on your feet. Please hold the hands of someone by your left and right. I am victorious. I have overcome. I am victorious. I have overcome I am victorious I have overcome I am victorious I have overcome Whilst you are holding the hands of your neighbor left and right I want you to pray a very simple sincere prayer from the depth of your heart you're going to say Lord cause my neighbor to become an overcomer that they do not ignore this lesson that has come from the pain of overcomers go ahead that is your only prayer for tonight pray for your neighbor Taking the pain and the sorrow away, you've given me peace.
it's undeniable There's no need to cry cause you're always with me You're my father, my every day Oh, man, my Sing it Lord, you took my pain away and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and sing. Yeah, yeah. Father, cause my brother, my sister, cause my neighbor to learn this profound destiny altering lessons from the overcomer. From Abraham, the overcomer, Paul, the overcomer, Jesus, the greatest of all overcomers. From our fathers who have become overcomers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. For many of you who have been wounded in life and destiny, you have felt like you have failed and failed and failed and failed and failed. I'm speaking by the Spirit of the living God that every negative voice that has spoken to you that you will never emerge, you will never become, may that voice be silenced now. For those of you who have made all kinds of mistakes around your life and destiny and you are wondering whether it's worth continuing the journey, I bring you glad tidings. There is hope for a tree. Even if it be caught up at the scent of water, receive grace to keep going. Receive grace to keep going. Receive grace to keep going. Grace to keep going. I pray for you. For everyone who has ignored hitherto any of these eight lessons that we have today learned from the overcomer, I pray for grace that you will retrace your steps. Grace to take the wisdom of the overcomer seriously. In the name of Jesus Christ. Finally, I pray for you that every power that wants to fight your becoming an overcomer in experience, becoming an inspiration to all around you, and to younger generations, I'm praying that that power is cleared out of the way. I call you by faith and by grace an overcomer. Your life will become an inspiration to many people. Your life will become a motivation to many people. In the name of Jesus Christ. That from today people will look at your life and the energy to continue will be imparted upon them in the name of Jesus Christ let me make the altar call now you heard 